Hey guys, welcome back. Marius here and today we have Grounded and this time we'll talk about damage and more specifically ranger damage. So everything about bows, arrows, new perks, new cap, all the information will be revealed in the video. So um, let me explain how I did my testing and then you will understand the table I will show you in a moment. Uh, we have this palisade, most durable structure in this game, used as a testing. I took one bow, another bow, every single arrow with new perk, with new cap, and with both of them, and calculated how many arrows I need to shoot in it to get it destroyed. And that's the basically outcome. And here I need to explain one more thing. Um, you see little bar, this little bar shows the health. So whenever I use arrows to shoot, arrows are, well, especially when you when I use uh, this, this insect bow and, and feather arrows and with all the bonuses, one arrow can do quite a lot of damage. So there's chunk of health being taken out. And this is important to understand because those numbers I will show this is with error because sometimes I shoot there will there is a case where I shoot seven arrows in the palisade and it's basically there is one health health point left and when I shoot the eight arrow it destroys it but there's a lot of damage output overkill right so the number it takes is eight but there's a lot of overkill and which that leads to the point where every single of those numbers will have a little bit slight, let's say, error. But I will explain that and show you as well and give you the answers you're looking for. So, let me switch to the this screen. Um, and it will give you all the information. Then there will be a little bit harder explanation why this number is 10, but we'll get to that. That's the last part. So. First of all, this one table is for sprig bow, everything done with one bow. This one is with other bow, right? Simple as that. Then this green line, green row is without any bonuses. This is default. By one arrow and by columns it goes by every type of arrow. Default, venom, lure, gas, and then the last one is the new one feather arrow and you can see already the numbers n nothing to hide and uh, here row by row you see obviously this is the sharpshooter bonus perk then only with the new cap and then with both of these bonuses so that's how I can calculate and give you the information how much bonus you get out of it and as you can see there is yeah and this, besides these uh, percentages, are against every the default value. So I'm doing the chart shooter basically row, and then it's compared to previously. You see, there's I need less arrows to kill the destroy the building, which means calculated bonus. And uh, of course, I'm, I'm rounding them up, so comes out seventy percent. And as I explained, there's a little bit uh, discrepancy because the, the, the more um, damage these are especially, uh, let's say, different from other results because there are huge chunk being taken out. For, for, for example, in this case, it seems like sharpshooter uh, bonus and marksman cap is the same, but it's actually not. So with all the numbers taken in account, my assumption is there is 15% bonus from third level sharpshooter because no one would in right mind in, in such a game put uneven numbers, right? So even if I have result 17, I need to assume this, this uh, difference uh, from, from the output. So I, I, I would say it's 15%. So it means every single one of the tiers, tier one, tier two, tier three, probably, most likely, will have 5% increase. Let me just show you one 
quickly what I'm talking about. So this is the new status, new mutations, sharpshooter, three, oh, sorry, decide all three levels. So this is the bonus. And the second, what I'm talking about is this little funny looking hat, cap, marksman cap, which increases the bow attack. And every single one of us is asking the question, how much, right? So from my calculations, you see that the precise number is 27 with an error. Here I have 25, so I would say it is 25%. Why? Because, again, no one will put a game a bonus and give 27%. Maybe later in the, in the, in the, when the game is out and there's a balance needed, then these little percentages can be tuned. But at the first, I, I guess it's the right number developed by, by the game creators is 25. And the interesting part is, I'll show you here, I have this number, the output. For both, I'm not even guessing. I'm using the same logic I used for the speed that proved right, where bonuses applied together are multiplying, right? It's not summed up, bonus plus bonus, where here bonus actually applies also to other portion of bonus. So if I multiply them both, this is the outcome, this is calculation, my expected. So should be 43.8, 44%. And as you can see, the testings, the testings are different for every, every ball because of the chunks used. And I would say it proves kind of right. It, it seems like it's exactly the same because if you just um, sum up, it will be only 40%. And average of these values is not 40 it's more than 40 so it seems yes 43.8 is the exact number and only developers can uh, say it's right or not or we need more items in the game where we can use some kind of measurement system to get precise output so far it seems that's it and what else what else i need to explain here comes the hardest part let me let me explain also why I did such ridiculous thing as testing Venom, Lure and Gas Arrow. Because Venom Arrow, when you shoot in an insect, it also poisons the insect. Lure Arrow attracts other insects as well. Gas Arrow makes huge gas cloud. If you're not wearing gas mask, you will get the damage as well. But what you need to know, and well, you, you knew it already, I'm just reminding. When you shoot these arrows, initially when they hit something, they do initial damage as well. And the, by all the testings and every bonuses and everything, it seems they are doing exactly the same damage as default arrow. So now you know, for example, if you're using gas arrow or something, there's no point of shooting in the grass or in the ground if you can hit the target because you see that that's additional damage that's one thing and what else yeah well obviously you see okay now we are getting to the last tricky part tricky part is i need to explain why feather arrow is giving plus damage boost where arrows are giving multiplying damage for that i will for the last moments 